When you only have to create a small number of payments, they can be entered manually to save time in searching for outstanding invoices. The manual check batch entry process can be started from the payments menu or the checks button on the toolbar. Batches are collections of vendor transactions that have not yet been committed to accounting, with a batch description to identify the purpose of the group. Company profile settings are available to provide a default batch description, and also to include a unique screen color for identification. This screen lists all active batches, and each batch is associated with a single bank. When creating a new batch, a default can be set in the company profile if you have multiple banks. Multiple people can be editing separate batches simultaneously. There are three types of payments for manual check entries. Payments are used to apply to existing vendor invoices already entered and posted into the system. These are listed in the grid at the bottom. To pay an invoice, either fully or partially, edit the invoice detail and enter the payment amount. If the check date is earlier than a payment terms discount date, a discount amount will be automatically calculated. Also, an accounting date for assigning to a different ledger fiscal period may be optionally entered if a company profile for using accounting dates is enabled. The second payment type is a prepayment, typically used for deposits paid to the vendor. Prepayments have a single detail for the invoice number and amount. When that invoice number is posted later, it will automatically match to this prepayment. An activation date is available to allow selection by system check runs. The third payment type is cash invoices, which contain not only the payment, but also the invoice. The cash invoice number field will be used to generate the single invoice transaction associated with this payment. This invoice number cannot be reused for this vendor, even for unposted invoice or cash invoice batch entries. The date of the invoice may be different than the check date, if desired. Cash invoice details are distributions, used in exactly the same way as for invoice batches. All three payment types support batch optional fields if you wish to save information with the transaction not already available on the screen. You can also enter distributions for job cost or time and billing if you use these programs. Cash invoices do not require a vendor record. If this payment is for a one-time vendor, you can leave the vendor code blank and instead enter their name and other payee details here on the address tab. If Adagio multi-currency is integrated, all manual checks have up to two exchange rates that can be entered, one for the currency of the bank and another for the currency of the vendor. When these currencies are the same, the exchange rates will match, and the payment amounts in your company's currency will be calculated. For any payment type, the check can be set for printing by selecting the Print Check option. If the payment was generated elsewhere, and you only need to enter the transaction into payables, do not print the check and simply enter the payment number here. If you require letters in your check numbers, company profile options to include alpha characters and also uppercase letters only are available. For printed checks, the check number will be assigned based on the sequence defined for the bank. The default check specification can also be assigned to the bank. You can print checks for just this entry, selected entries within the batch, or the entire batch. 
click the Print button to start the process, printing checks to the specified printer. After checks have printed, you can choose to print an additional form. These are often used for advice-only details, which can be emailed or faxed to the vendor, or printing advices to plain paper to avoid wasting pre-printed stock when paying dozens of invoices. Manual check payments can be used to match invoices to prepayments or credit notes that were not previously assigned an invoice number. Create a payment type batch entry and set for not printing. Use a check number similar to one of the other documents. Then select both the prepayment or credit and invoice to match. The net payment amount will be zero and posting this entry will change all the current amounts of documents to zero, allowing them to be cleared to history and no longer printing on the open payables report. No general ledger activity will occur from this entry. Use manual checks for flexibility in the way you record payments to vendors. For more information about Adagio Accounting, Use these links on screen or from the video description. Thanks for watching.